KVGC News Time is now seven minutes after the hour of seven o'clock. Time for a look at the news for a Monday. It's the 18th day of June for 2018. Well, it was a somewhat quiet Father's Day weekend for local fire crews until late in the afternoon yesterday. Around 3 o'clock, crews rolled to a reported wildland fire off China Gulch Road and Comanche Parkway North. Aircraft, Amador Fire, Cal Fire, City of Ione, City of Jackson, and Amador Sheriffs were all dispatched to the area. All agencies worked quickly and stopped the forward spread of the fire at about 17 acres within about an hour. Three hand crews from the Pine Grove camp assisted with the mop-up operations into the early evening. Then around 4 o'clock on Sunday, Calaveras fire units were called to the intersection of Weimer and Highway 26 to the report of a fully involved barn fire with extension into the wildland. Upon arrival, first units discovered that it was a grass fire only and the barn was not involved. Firefighters were able to bring the fire under control a short time after arriving. Cal Fire, Calaveras Consolidated Fire Protection District, and Lyndon Peters Fire Protection District all responded. A six-year-old girl from Sutter Creek fatally injured Friday morning in the Latrobe area. After the vehicle she was a passenger in left the roadway, careened into a field overturning, trapping the child and driver inside. Now, no names were released by CHP over the weekend, but the male driver reported to be 50 years old, also from Sutter Creek. The driver's relationship to the child not immediately known. CHP responded around 11 a.m. on Latrobe Road, west of South Shingle Road. Found the vehicle, a 1996 Chevy Tahoe. It rests on its rooftop. It's thought the driver, traveling an estimated 55 to 60 miles an hour, inadvertently allowed the right side tires to leave the roadway and onto the shoulder. Officers report the driver overcorrected in an attempt to recover the vehicle, but... The vehicle traveled across the eastbound lanes of Latrobe off the south edge of the roadway. Both driver and the girl were trapped inside the vehicle and had to be extricated by emergency crews. The child life lighted to an area trauma center, but her injuries proved fatal. The driver sustained minor injury. CHP reports both were wearing seatbelts at the time of the tragedy and that the accident is under investigation. California's unemployment rate remained steady at 4.2% in May, while the state added 5,500 non-farm payroll jobs. The rate tied the record low set in April, according to numbers released Friday by the California Employment Development Department. Last year in May, the state's unemployment rate was 4.9%. The mother loads rate continued its downward trend, with numbers better than the statewide figures. Amador County's rate dropped from 3.9% to 3.5% in May. Calaveras County's rate was 3.5% last month compared to 3.8% in April. The U.S. unemployment rate fell to 3.8% with employers uh, adding 223,000 non-farm payroll jobs. In an unexpected move during the final 10 minutes of three-day-long budget hearings, the Calaveras Board of Supervisors instructed County Council to provide appropriate resolutions for the alternative ways a vote on legalizing cannabis cultivation or sale could be put on a countywide vote in the November election. Without mention of this topic on the meeting agenda, District 4 Supervisor Dennis Mills raised the idea late in the afternoon Thursday, immediately after public comment closed. Now, it followed a brief discussion as to whether the proposed ballot measure would be legislatively binding or simply advisory. The board then voted 4-1 to one to direct staff to bring back an item from the February 13th agenda, which had proposed putting cannabis on the June ballot as either a binding or advisory measure. Now, before the meeting adjourned, County Council stated the item will be relayed to the election office first, will be brought back to the board as soon as possible as an agenda item. The next scheduled meeting of the board is tomorrow. And a year-long road alignment and construction project will tie up traffic in the railroad flat area through December. The railroad flat road bridge replacement project will impact both the morning and evening commute. County Public Works officials report that there will be one lane open for traffic throughout the duration of the repairs. Flaggers will direct motorists as both lanes will need to take turns crossing the bridge, which could cause up to 10-minute delays. The work schedule, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 
and is targeted for completion in early December. And if you suffer from joint pain or considering joint replacement surgery in the future, well, a special class will be offered today to help at Sutter Amador Hospital. The class covers a wide variety of topics, including physical therapy, pain management, and how to prepare your home and caregiver for a successful recovery. The class will educate and prepare you for a joint replacement surgery by familiarizing you with the procedures and goals for your recovery. The class designed to help alleviate any stress or anxiety you or your loved ones may have about the procedure. Classes will be held again on July 16th and August 20th. The class is free, but registration required. To sign up, call Sutter Amateur Hospital Surgery Department, 223-7420. Or to register for classes online, visit SutterAmador.org. Again, as a reminder, tickets on sale now for the annual Kennedy Mine Foundation's Founders Day Deep Pit Barbecue. It's this Thursday, Kennedy Mine. There are still some tickets available. Doors open up at 5, dinner at 6. Tickets are 40 bucks each, 75 for a couple. The evening includes the Deep Pit Barbecue Beef Dinner, No Hose Bar, and music by the Old Souls, and a Gold Country art show and sale along with the raffle. Now, if you want tickets, they can be purchased today online, kennedygoldmine.com or from the Amador Council of Tourism Office or the Amador Chamber of Commerce Office. I would not wait until tomorrow to get these tickets because they're going fast. And a reminder for you, uh, CAL FIRE will be burning between 60 and 80 acres uh, on the Amoruso property just south of Fiddletown today. That burn expected to start about 9 o'clock this morning will last throughout the afternoon, and uh, smoke will be visible from Fiddletown, Plymouth, 49er Bypass, maybe even from Sutter Creek. And that's a look at local news on a Monday, the 18th day of June for 2018. From the KVGC News Center, I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather, 24 hours a day to visit our website, kvgcradio.com.